guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Dave and welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to go through a way to get your i225 driver on your Z490 boards to get it to work in Windows 1709 or potentially on earlier versions of Windows 10. Now you might ask, how would you do that? Is it possible? Anytime I try to install it, it doesn't work. I'm assuming you've gone through a couple uh, of ways to get this to work right. You're going to see this e Ethernet controller here. And one way to try, or most people would have tried to do this, is just by running the installer. So I'm going to go through the installer and I'll say yes because I've got a close con console. And you know, everything seems normal, no issues, right? Go to install. And it's like, I can't proceed. Well, I guess that's not gonna work. The next way is to extract all the files. So we're gonna extract this to a WinX64 directory and you'll need 7-zip or some sort of equivalent app to do this. I'll put the link to 7-zip in the video description. Let's go through this and get this to work. This is going to involve modifying the INF file. And the INF file basically contains all the compatible drivers that in this case, Intel has made. And this is stuff that Intel or Microsoft doesn't tell you how to do because it's unsupported territory. They frankly don't want you to install this on the older unsupported versions of Windows 10, 17, 09 or older. And by the way, uh, Intel, uh, Microsoft, uh, if you have enterprise, uh, hello, it's still supported till September. All you need to do is double click on the INF and you're gonna see it's like a whole bunch of nonsense to the person that doesn't know anything about IT or computers. So you're gonna notice here that anything that says 17763 is referring to Windows 10 1809. All we're going to do is we're going to replace 17763 with the build of Windows 10 1709. And you can find out what that is by simply going to run and type in winver. And you're gonna see here, this is the build, 16299. And that's what we need. So we're going to do a control H or simply go to edit, replace 17763 with 16299. We're going to replace it all and that's that. All we need to do is save it. Go to file, save. We're going to go to device manager and we're gonna to go to driver. We're going to update this manually. So we're gonna browse and we're going to go next. But it's gonna say, hey, it thinks that the file's been tampered with. Or if you go to browse, let me pick from a list. And if I browse to this directory and just to show that it is the file, it's 851 and it's 851. So it's been modified within the last minute. We're gonna to go to it and open it and okay it and it's detecting the i225 network card. So we're gonna close this. Now, you might think, well, that's the end. No, no, my friend, that's not the end. It's just the beginning. We're gonna get this to work. How do you do that? Simply go to your windows, go to power, hold the left shift key down, and go to restart while holding the shift key down. It's going to present you with choosing an option. We'll go to Troubleshoot, Advanced, Startup Settings, and we're going to choose the Disabled Driver Signature Enforcement. You're gonna get the Startup Settings as it shows right here. We'll go to Seven. All we're gonna do is we're going to right-click, go to Device Manager, go to Ethernet Controller, go to Update Driver. We're gonna browse, and we're gonna pick the same directory, and again, the two drivers are here. And it's like, this driver's not digitally signed. Am I sure I should proceed? You proceed at your own risk, but let me tell you this, something. This is the only way it's gonna work as far as I know. You're gonna get this warning, and some of you may be familiar with this from the Windows XP days when you could do this easily. So hit install this driver software anyway. Close, guess what? We're done. We're online. I can go to Google. Google.com, we're online. Woohoo. Now let's reboot. You might say, well, gee, Dave, if you reboot, it's probably not going to work. No, it's gonna work. And I think it's important that people are aware of how to get their drivers to work. Even if you have to edit the INF file to get this to work. You don't believe me that the driver's installed? We're gonna to go to device manager right now. And it's like, oh, well, everything is here. Yeah, the driver's still not digitally signed, 
but hey, it's active, it's working, and look at this. I'm gonna go to Google. And what do you know? Bonus for people who have stuck around to this point and anyone who wants to tinker with their drivers even further. We're going to go and modify the driver a little bit more. We are going to add the server 2019 section to this driver. How do you do that? Well, the V version of this driver doesn't have the specific registry file. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm scrolling down here, server 2019 for 64-bit extended platforms. This RSS advanced file is what we're going to need. And quite frankly, it's going to be with any of these. But oh, and by the way, did you know the, that the V version of your network adapter doesn't is not supported in uh, Windows Server 2019? No, 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 my friend, it would work. You just have to edit the file. That may be another video. If you guys want it, let me know in the comments. All you got to do is put a comma here because this is the line where you have your RSS. We're going to paste this in here. We're going to save it. We're going to close it. Restart with disabling signature, signature checks or disable driver signature enforcement. Same thing. We're going to go to device manager again, but this time, if you notice in here, this is what we've got, right? You see all these settings here. It's like, okay, it's pretty standard stuff. If you go to driver update, let me pick. No, 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 no. We're going to browse open. Okay. Next install this driver. Anyway, close and we're going to close. Now, if we go into this and we go to advanced, we're going to see a little bit more information in here. We have maximum number of RSS processors. This is a server 2019 setting, preferred NUMA node, RSS base processor number, RSS load balancing profile. And you might say again, well, gee, Dave, that's not going to work. Well, we're going to reboot the system. And that, my friends, is how you get a Z490, Z490 board with an Intel i225 driver to get it to work in 1709. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications and keep your stick on the ice. We'll see you next time.